What's up, folks? This is your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. Okay, so today I will be participating in the favorite people tag. I was tagged by my boy, Bookish Chess, and so I figured I'd give it a shot. Just a heads up, there will be more than one answer for each of these prompts, so bear with me. The first one is name your favorite author. For me, number one is J.K. Rowling. Um, and despite all the you know political drama surrounding her right now, Harry Potter just really invigorated my love for reading when I was a young adult. Yes, I loved Goosebumps and I loved the Encyclopedia Brown as a kid, but I never devoured such large books until Harry Potter. These were the first books I read that were like past six or 700 pages. And thanks to JK Rowling, I am the voracious reader that I am now. Next is George R. R. Martin. Same reason, he really reinvigorated my reading as an adult. Outside of Harry Potter, I had read no fantasy um, when I grew up. Like when I graduated college, I read more like maybe science fiction at times and dabbled in other genres, but it was A Song of Ice and Fire that made me love fantasy all over again. And thanks to those five novels, I have been introduced to so much more. So George R. R. Martin and J.K. Rowling, thanks to each of you. Next one is name your favorite comedy actor or comedian. Um, let's see. So I have two there as well. Oddly enough, they both have the last name Williams. First is Robin Williams. I grew up laughing at Robin Williams, you know, from Aladdin and, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire onward. Everything he was in always was remarkable, especially considering that he improvised a lot of his lines and he just always went off script. To me, that is just such a unique talent and it's so sad that he's gone. And to hear that Disney is able to even recreate the genie and Aladdin because there was so much content left behind by Robin Williams. I mean, that just shows you what a brilliant comedic actor he was. The other Williams is Cat Williams. Um, despite the controversy surrounding Cat Williams lately, I don't think I've ever cracked up at a stand-up comedian more than Cat Williams. You know, I've watched him in films and I've watched him live and he is to me one of the most entertaining and brilliant and intelligent comedians to ever live. And I just hope that he continues to get the recognition that he deserves. Okay, the next one is name your favorite serious or dramatic actor or actress. So, favorite actor is Don Cheadle. Like, I've always loved Don Cheadle, and I cannot think of a role he's been in where I wasn't impressed. And this goes all the way back to when I was a kid and he played a villain in this superhero movie by Robert Townsend called Meteor Man. And onward, you know, now he's in Marvel doing big things in Hotel Rwanda where his performance was just astonishing. Ocean's Eleven, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Part of the reason is because he's in it. I mean, I just love Don Cheadle. And I he is one actor I think does not get the recognition he deserves at all. Okay, my favorite actress is Meryl Streep. That is one actress who gives 110% no matter what role she is in. 
One of my favorite films of all time is The Devil Wears Prada. And as great as Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt were in that film, nobody performed or stole the show like Meryl Streep when she walked on that stage as Miranda Priestly. Like when she shows up and everybody at the magazine is afraid and trying to get everything in order for her arrival. I mean, that scene even today just gives me chills. And I mean, I just loved her in it and anything, anything she's in, she is just remarkable. Okay. The next one is name your favorite political figure, past or present. I'm going to do both. Um, past, I have to say Ulysses as Grant. Uh, I read his uh, biography a few years ago, and I was just thoroughly impressed by all this man did and accomplished as a general. I think he is a, a historical figure that just does not get enough recognition, like no disrespect to guys like Washington and Lincoln and Roosevelt, but Ulysses S. Grant did a lot for this country. And I think more and more people need to recognize that. Present, I would have to say, my boy, Barack Hussein Obama. Like, despite what people feel about his abilities as a, as a legislator, his politics, his stance on social issues, when that man won the presidential seat. The feeling was unlike anything I had ever experienced before. To see a black man in that Oval Office, that is something many of us did not think we would see in our lifetime, including myself. He gave us so much hope and so many reasons to look to the future because we thought it was going to be better. And I still remember that day when we found out he won. And even now, I still really respect him and his wife, Michelle. I think they are probably, at least in my lifetime, the greatest president and first lady to ever sit in the White House. So the next one is name your favorite film writer or director. Now this is easy. This was just now this was the one prompt that had one answer, and that's Christopher Nolan. I have not seen anything by Nolan that I didn't love. I mean, not just like, I mean love. In fact, my favorite film of all time is Inception. You know, I never thought that. My original number one would be dethroned, but Inception completely dethroned that film and is now my favorite of all time. I watch it pretty regularly and I just always enjoy the story, the visuals. And, you know, one of my favorite actors also is Leonardo DiCaprio, who always gives a great performance as well. But the way he just constructs these mind-bending narratives and make them into entertaining films is just remarkable to, remarkable to me. So I love everything Christopher Nolan does. The next one is name your favorite new discovery. So honestly, a new discovery for me, weirdly, is country music. And it's not because of Beyonce as much as I love Beyonce. but. I just recently, even before the whole Beyonce thing, like maybe this like this year, the past few months, I've grown an appreciation for the soul in country music and like the emotion in it. I grew up all my life, like, you know, a big hip hop head, you know, R&B, some rock and roll, alternative pop, all that. But for some reason this year, you know, when I turned 40, I just started to like country music more. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. Maybe it's like some middle-aged crisis. I don't know. But country music is a new discovery for me, and I am just really, really loving it. Okay, the next one is name your favorite musician or singer. So for me, that's Michael Jackson. 
I wanted to be Michael Jackson as a kid. I would study everything he came out with. I knew how to moonwalk. I knew all his dance moves. I tried to tilt over like the guys did a smooth criminal. And I can't tell you how many times I fell and almost bust my head wide open, trying to lean like they did a smooth criminal, only to find out years later that they were able to do that because they had special contraptions in their sneakers. But in any case, I don't think there's a performer greater than Michael Jackson. And his musicianship wasn't in so much instrumentation, but it was in his ability to construct stories in his music and to perform it so well that you looked forward more to the video than you did to the song itself. And also, come on, like what other artists had people fainting when he performed? I mean, fainting, being carried off in stretchers. There will never be anybody like Michael Jackson. And being a fan of his in the 80s and 90s is something that is just completely unforgettable. I mentioned earlier that I'm a hip hop head, so I had to I had to give one more answer. And that goes to Jay-Z, who is my favorite rapper of all time and who I think is the greatest rapper of all time. Um, and we can argue for other hip hop heads out there. We can argue that point. But I just love anything Jay-Z releases. I always look forward to him when he's producing or making music or when he's on features. I've been a fan of his since I was like 12 or 13 years old. And I've been listening to him and to watch his growth from this guy from the projects to a billionaire businessman has just been crazy. I mean, I cannot even imagine growing up like that with nothing and you having to sell drugs and do whatever to make ends meet to now being the most successful rap artist in the history of the United States of America. I mean, what a story. Okay, the next one is name your favorite inspirational person. So I have two of these as well. First is Frederick Douglass. Um, when I read the narratives of the life of Frederick Douglass, it really opened my eyes to what this man endured and what he had to go through to accomplish what he accomplished. And thank God for people who helped him along the way, but, but wow, like the life he led as a child and as a young adult to become such a brilliant orator and writer, like though I could not imagine facing those circumstances and becoming such a prominent historical figure. So I always, always remember Frederick Douglass whenever I'm thinking of someone who inspires me to be better no matter what. The second person is James Baldwin. Outside of being a brilliant writer and also a brilliant orator like Frederick Douglass, James Baldwin is such an inspiration to me because he was not only a black man in the 40s, 50s, and 60s at the height of racism, but he was a black gay man which I am as well, and still able to accomplish so much. I can, matter of fact, I can't imagine the challenges he faced and overcame as a black gay man during that time and to leave his stamp on history as one of the greatest writers of all time and still to this day who someone looks to for inspiration and guidance and information and education to me is just absolutely astonishing and he is someone i truly truly admire okay so that's it for the favorite people tag now I got to tag some people. So the first person I want to tag is someone who's become such a good friend of mine. And that's D over at Through the Pages with D. 
Um, the next person who's also become a great friend is Pat at Book Chat with Pat. She's an English teacher. Um, her reviews are are always great. Um, and I want to tag um, my boy, Sam Harrison. He tagged me in something that I could not respond to because I already did, but I'm going to go ahead and tag him in this. And if any of you all have already responded to this tag or don't want to, it will not hurt my feelings at all. But you are the three I thought of first. So hopefully you respond and have fun with it. This is your boy, Darko, Kindles and Kicks, like, Comment, subscribe. I see you next time. Peace. Hello. This is Caleb.